and welcome to She Shaves with Jill. Where the hell is Jill sitting? Well, I'm sitting on a little stool because earlier I did a face shave. I didn't videotape it and I used one of the random act of generosity razors that I got from Trevi B, which is this nice little gem. Um, it's not Bakelite because it does have a line down here so it must be plastic. But this is from the early 1950s. And um, I'm going to, of course, use a gem stainless blade in it. And let me pop that in. Okay. Come on. Okay, it's against the stoppers. So double check that. Oh, there's a hair on here. And close that up. And double check it again. Yep. It's right up against the stops. So that's the razor and blade I'm going to use. Um, this is a new to me uh, shave cream. It's lavanda or lavanda. I don't know how they really pronounce it. And this is the tube that comes in. And I already pre took some of this out of the tube and put in my. Um, Captain's Choice um, <laughs> lathering bowl because this shit is thick as glue trying to get it out of the tube. You can see I had pushed and I had to put it on the ledge and squeeze it and everything so I didn't want to waste all that time doing it. But um, I did use that for the face shave too and it was quite enjoyable. It's got a nice scent and it performed well. So tonight... Oh, hush up. I'm going to, I forgot to put airplane mode on. So tonight what I'm going to do is finish what I usually do after I do my face shave and go and take my bath and do my leg shave, but I'm not going to do the video in the bathtub with me naked. I know, I know. It's something you've all waited to see though. Yeah, right. That is scary. That is no. <laughs> so, I'm going to be doing a leg shave with these items. And, like I said, I've already started whipping it up. Oh, the brush I'm using is that uh, vintage um, uh, 1CS that I put my own knot in that I got from Maggard's, which is a Timberwolf knot. So, let me... I'm not doing a total ball lather, but I'm loading the brush up pretty damn good. So let me stand up now, because it's the legs you got to see. Oh, God. That gets harder and harder the older I get. All right. So let's see if I can fit the legs in the shot. Yeah, there's the legs in the shot. Oh, isn't that a lovely scar there? You know what that's from? That, my friends, is from a Starling V2. Um, it is a very deep and wide and long scar from using that razor. It cut me the hell up. I sent it right back. All right, I already wet my leg before. But let me do it again. All right. Let's get to lathering this gam here. You'll see the, how difficult it is for us ladies and the obstacles we have to pass to shave our legs. I know there's sharp, bony areas like chins and stuff like that on the face, but you ain't seen nothing yet until you see a lady shave. Let's add some more water. Mm, this smells good. Now, I do go all the way up.
Seems dry still. Let me add some water to the tips. Now, I don't care about the lather on my legs like I do on my face. I just want a nice um, layer of moisturizing goodness. So that, my friends, is going to do. Let me grab my razor and we'll start. And I usually start on the back of my legs and work my way up. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Hold this perpendicular to your skin. That's the standard for a gem razor. Some guy posted something on one of the uh, Facebook pages that you use a 30 degree angle. That is so not true. And he showed a picture of uh, a gem pamphlet showing what to do and it clearly shows, he claims it clearly shows that he's right that you use a 30 degree angle you don't, you use perpendicular to your skin alright so that's one side and let's get to the other side this could have been more moist now these are the first contours that ladies have to worry about. We got ankles and we got ankle bones. We have shins and we have shin bones. We have tendons right here on the side of our legs that are very susceptible to being cut and we have our kneecaps of course. So there's a lot more um, danger zones if you would for a female shaver. And you have to be careful here. Now, when you get to the shin, the best way to shave that is to pull the uh, skin over from the side and see how it takes it off the top of the shin and puts it over here. So it puts it on what's not a bony area. Then you pull it the other way to achieve the same thing. Alright, let's see if I can do this on camera without hurting myself going all the way up to be very careful around the knee area and this tendon I also have some added complications because I have muscle and bone biopsy and there's a lot of craters and stuff like that that's hard to get into like this one right here and this one right here then I had muscle biopsy up here so that's a little bit more difficult for me so we got a lot of areas we gotta watch out for so let me rinse that off and then I'll have a feel yeah that's why I love gem razors one pass and it's almost done so let's lather up again. I'm going to moisten my leg more. I have to leave the rag right there in the toilet seat. And let's get another lather going here. Now I also have very muscular calves and thighs. So that leaves me some, like right here, you have to relax so that muscle is more flat when you're shaving. time I'm going to go down Can you hear that feedback this razor sings when you use it Get the 
this serious tendon area. This blade really sings in this razor. Yeah, that slice was really bad. It took me an hour and a half to get it to stop bleeding. I was almost ready to go get stitches, but it was more deep and wide slice than it was a cut. I did the styptic. I did the... All the other stuff, nothing would stop it, so uh, direct pressure for quite some time. Okay, let's rinse that off. I'll feel my results. A lot of time when I'm in the bathtub, I also do a third pass, and what I do in that pass is I will lather up, of course, and I will go across the growth this way, usually in a buffing motion because it'll leave... Um, uh, lather behind and then I'll go the opposite direction too and I'll do that on both sides so that's what I would normally do too because I always go for a BBS on my legs so that's one leg done whoa almost fell over should I bother with a second I think so See, we have a lot more territory to cover than you guys do. I won't be doing the bikini line. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Although I do do that area, too. When I say I go all the way up, I mean it. Okay. I said I just usually lay down a layer that I can work with. one against the grain. I shave faster than most women than most women with a double uh, with a traditional wet shaver on my legs. And I think I mentioned it before the reason why I decided to to do uh, female wet shaving on my face is because I've seen other channels where they do leg shaves and it's usually these cute little 20 year olds you know with their hair and pigtails and they're doing it and the thing that bothers me is the comments that the guys make it's like hey can you make it can you shave up a little higher baby let's see that landing strip you know, those kind of disgusting things. So I didn't want to leave myself open for that. Plus, I wanted to relate to the guys that use um, the products. There's not as many women that do videos on face shaving. Maya and myself do them. That's very close already. Okay, let's rinse that leg off. Mm 
man, I'm going to have to go over here and grab some Cremo because that uh, lather there is almost gone. It was left over from my uh, face shave. So this is a brushless cream. Very, very slick. In fact, I gotta put both feet on the ground to wash my hands because it's so slippery. Alright, and let's do the same thing we did before. I'm gonna go down. Whoa, almost fell. And this is the outside tendon I have to worry about. And the knees, of course. The knees are best approached, like, from each angle. Like that. And then you hold it down to get the top. So you need everything as flat as you possibly can. It's the first leg shave I did. No, I did another one um, uh, for a review for the Omni Shaver. This way. And then down that way. This is equivalent to you guys is across the grain. Across one way. And across the other. This little featherweight razor, I say from the early 1950s, it's a nice, nice gem. Very smooth, very comfortable, very efficient too. And then I'll just kind of go every which way. Catch any pickups. I can guarantee you that my legs are smooth as ice. And soft. Alright. Rinse my leg off. Now, the only thing I'm going to put for post shave on my legs right now is that homemade remedy I told you guys about. Um, I even put a recipe for it in one of my reviews. And um, it's very mentholated, as if you can't tell. Of course, it, that is wintergreen um, uh, alcohol, but uh, it's got a lot of menthol flakes in it. And boy, does that set you free. I'll fill this for 20 minutes, and then I have my girly girl type moisturizers that I'll put on my legs after the shave settles in. So that, my friends, is my one and only leg shave video of the year. So on that note, <laughs> maybe I should sit on this stool instead of try to lean on it. So on that note, my friends, <laughs> the review, the recap, is my featherweight gem from the early 1950s with a gem razor blade in it. Uh, my restored, uh, I always forget the number, 1C 1CS Ever Ready brush with a uh, Timberwolf knot from Maggers, my Captain's Choice bowl, and my homemade remedy for an aftershave. So that's going to do it, guys. So we're coming up on the weekend, and uh, I just I just thought I'd do something for fun on this. You know, my toilet seat. <laughs> so that's it, guys. 
I'm going to say bye for now. Have a great rest of the week. Have a great weekend. And you guys know I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>